tyrant king of the dinosaurs, one of the most ferocious predators ever to walk the earth. But there's a missing piece to the tale of T-Rex. It's beginning. Now, a team of scientists and artists go on an epic journey, digging deep into the fossil record for the tiniest of clues, to bring a baby T-Rex back to life. If they're successful, the world will finally see the tiny creature that would one day grow into this colossal killer. This is T-Rex, full grown, 12,000 pounds, 40 feet long, brutish and hungry. For almost a hundred years, it has haunted our museums. Science has learned a lot about this beast. Dozens of adult skeletons have been unearthed but one of the most vexing questions of ancient life remains. How did this ferocious predator begin? Scientists believe at birth it was no bigger than a house cat. But how did it survive the brutality of life more than 65 million years ago? How did it walk, run, feed, was it the hunter or the hunted? In Toronto, Canada, Hall Train, world famous model maker, wants to help answer those questions by building a walking one year old T Rex. There are a few clues. It's something no one has ever done successfully. Hall is starting from a blank page. Only scattered fragments of young T. rex bones have ever been dug up. But if anyone can bring the animal to life, it's Train. His models of ancient creatures have been featured in museums around the world. He's an artist who works in the service of scientists. He uses mechanics, physics, and art to help audiences explore the possibilities of what dinosaurs looked like. His goal now is to incorporate the latest scientific findings in the design of the creature's skeleton, muscles, and skin. But first, he needs the science, some basic facts about the animal. Summer 2006 the Badlands of Montana. Thomas Carr and a team of dinosaur hunters were scouring a stretch of eroded hills and ledges rich in fossils from the Cretaceous period. They spotted a bone sticking out of the dirt that demanded attention. I took my brush and I swept the dirt away and uncovered more bone. And intriguingly, there was more of it and it was hollow. You can see this very big, empty space in this bone, and that's typical of meat-eating dinosaurs. Because the bone was long and narrow, he knew it was part of the lower leg, or shin bone. Anticipation grew as the team continued to dig. Extracting an ancient bone from the dirt is not an easy job. If they dug too quickly, they risked shattering it. Roots had to be removed, small rocks, chunks of clay. Nearly touching the shin, they found a toe. Then came a small and seemingly nondescript fragment. 
At first, he thought it was part of the shin bone. As he brushed the dirt off, he realized that what he was holding was part of the forehead of a small T-Rex.